Hello YouTube. So today I'll be talking about um, what carnivorous plant is good for beginners and some like what plants you guys should avoid as a beginner carnivorous plant grower because they might require some specific more specific care more like um, different conditions and more specific temperatures so I'll start with the uh, beginners and I'll move slightly higher and harder so what we have over here is some cape sundews Drosera capensis um, these guys they have a big pot they grow very big like here's my hand and they're very big and handsome and they grow very fast and very easy to grow and um, I never um, I gave away I gave away a lot of my sundews to my friends and stuff and none of them had died so each of them was capable of keeping it alive and healthy none of them even looked unhealthy that's how easy it was I just told them to um, give them lots of light like west facing windowsill or east or south is all good and always um, put water underneath like always keep water underneath and then I just told them that and then they just basically kept the plant alive and very healthy so there's the cape sundew so here's another sundew that you might want to avoid these are the bonatas the, the the reason why you should avoid these is because is because they require winter dormancy so um you can't grow them like indoors all year round as easy as these guys these guys these guys are tropical but these guys are from australia so um like southern australia so equals that they're closer to the south pole equals they're actually a temperate species so they actually require winter dormancy so if you don't think you can actually uh, require like give them dormancy then avoid that another little easy carnivorous plant is utricularia these these plants have these cute little yellow flowers but some some species have different flowers but this is utricularia sublata, sublata and they look like miniature orchids excuse the wire and there they have these little grassy things like at the bottom and underground they have bladders um let's see this species bad bladders particularly small we can't let's see if we can find one mainly they're just stolons at the end but here they look like these grassy things and they're they're extremely easy to grow you can literally just chuck them like on a window so and just only they only need water to survive okay here we have some other easy kind of plant if you don't like sundews you would want a pitcher plant then probably the best ones I would recommend is Nepenthes which is these tropical pitcher plants like they look like this excuse the saran wrap I just sort of try to retain the humidity because these plants their only issue is basically they like high humidity so if you live in a drier climate then you might have to give them a sort of like a great mini like cover them with a plastic bag or something or give them a humidifier so I'll, there's there's a couple species I have so there is Nepenthes truncata um, this species is pretty cool there's also the okay let's Sanguinea, which is one of the easiest ones. There's also Ventricosa. There's no good picture on it yet right now, so. But here's a basil picture if you want to see one. Like, Nepenthes, they produce these basil shoots, which is their big, basically rhizomes from the bottom, so. And there's also some plants that you might want to avoid, like um, King Sundew. This, this Sundew is. Ad actually the heart one of the hardest sundews to grow Main, mainly the reason why is such very specific conditions and they also need a lot of like insect foods and stuff and these and these plants also like very sensitive so i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend these plants for the begin for beginners and 
These can get big, but this one's looking kind of small because it's in its winter. Um, they don't require winter rest, but they do reduce the size of their leaves during the winter. Another one you, you should avoid is this helium flora, um, which is the South American pitcher plant. You can see there's a new pitcher coming down there. There's a small rhizome shoot down here. And these plants, the reason why they're hard, I sort of just broke that little top off, but it's okay. Um, I sometimes find myself in trouble with these guys as well, but I never killed one, but they are hard. Um, the reasons why is they require um, cool, um, very cool temperature and um, also lots of light. So usually if you increase the light lighting, usually it will increase the temperature, which is actually bad for them. So um, the solution is to grow them in the open air. And if, if it's best if you, you li live in one of those places with not that hot of like a average temperature and grow them in open air with very high humid humidity and also LED lights. Um, fluorescence is too hot for these guys. Another one is Cephalotus. Um, I have more of these over here. These guys you shouldn't avoid unless you sort of started slightly less for like mastering some of the e more easier carnivorous plant. The lid is kind of dropped as you can see, but usually it's like a nice brilliant lid like that. Because it dropped because I, during the winter they like it slightly drier, so I wait until the lids drop. And the reason why, because they're so sensitive to like repotting, they're also very sensitive to humid, overly humid air, overwatering. They're overly just sensitive to lots of water and stuff. And they have this thing called sudden death cydronum, which is just specifically on cephalotis. They just die for no reason. So let's recap, you guys. I recommend pitcher plants if you can, re um, if you know you can re uh, remain humidity. Um, I I, re I recommend sundew if you have enough light and utricularia if you don't have both. Well, these plants are not that fun to look at, but once they flower, they're very quite showy. So, yeah, that's just a quick sort of thing. Also, like, you should also, one last thing. Um, these guys, I wouldn't recommend for a beginner. These are Mexican. Can butterworts because they are they require like very dry like soil and they're just this is slight less forgiving than uh pitcher plant or tropical pitcher plant or uh tropical sundew so yeah we'll see you on the next video if you like my videos like and subscribe and it really helps and yeah we'll see you on the next video